And this generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first ever rendition of That Space Show. I'm your host, Nick, and I'm super excited to get into the news for the first time on this channel. So we're going to be looking at the dates Monday, Tuesday, and March 4th, Wednesday, 2024. So let's waste no time getting straight into it. So on the calendar this month, on Thursday, the 5th Messier 94 Galaxy will be well placed for viewing as well as the Jewel Box Cluster. So deep space people, get out the telescopes. And on Friday, there's going to be a conjunction between the Moon and Mars. Check that out. Very, very cool launches on april 1st the falcon 9 launched the starlink group 713 of course i'll show you a quick video of that launch very cool love the launches five four three two one ignition and lift off of falcon 9 go starlink go spacex mod tearing pressure nominal vehicle is pitching down range And then on second, there was a Chinese launch, unknown payload. I doubt I'm going to be able to get a video on that. So, also the eclipse. Now, other than the miscalculated April Fool's joke, here's what you need to know about the eclipse. The eclipse that will be taking place on the 8th is something that everyone should try to experience, if possible, of course, with safety glasses. Please, safety glasses. And also, another cool thing is that if you're at the zoo, you happen to be there, the animals may start reacting pretty weird. Check out the nocturnal animals if you can. I mean, most of the zoos are open during that time. Also, new pictures of the solar eclipse will help us make new discoveries about the sun. I'll keep you posted on those as well. And keep your eyes peeled, for sure, of the times of your local eclipse area. Now, on to visible planets in April. April. Well... April will feature Jupiter as the best planet to take a look at in the sky this month. Mars and Saturn this month may be visible in the morning sky, but tough to see, and most other planets may be kind of tougher to see. So go find Jupiter. <clears throat> Japan's moon probe. First news story of the day. Slim, Japan's smart lander for investigating moon, is being put to sleep again after unexpectedly surviving an amazing second night on the moon. There seems to be a good amount of malfunctions, which may make it tough for another mission. Despite facing temperatures of negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it was somehow still able to transmit some photos. Wishing you luck, Slim. And Viper, another rover? Yes. This time, NASA's Viper Moon rover now adds its mast. Now, the mast kind of looks like a rover head, and... It's going to help scientists command and retrieve data. Viper's goal is to study the origin of water on the moon as well as other resources around there. The mass also comes equipped with a lot of different things, but the navigation camera, very cool to help capture photos of surroundings, as well as taking in what is all in there. And also, very cool, headlights, blue LEDs to combat the darkness. Who knew blue LEDs would be the key? Viper's team has been working hard to get this complete for its soon-to-be 100-day mission on the moon. So let's get ready for that. And now, a recent study, speaking of technology, Chin Yao Tang and Dr. Ki Jung Shen from the ASIAA, don't ask me what that means, there's been a bit of a discrepancy between the masses of the first star's supernovae, the beginning of the the galaxies, and everything, the universe. Well, they were able to create the world's first hydrodynamic simulation of the supernova. This is truly a big breakthrough for understanding our universe, while also displaying supercomputers and how much they can actually do for us. And now another study, James Webb. A local group of astronomers observed the merging galaxy of NGC 3256. An interesting observation is that there's two nuclei, there's distorted forms, and so much more. Using James Webb, they were able to find out a lot about the properties of this galaxy. So, if you're interested in knowing more, 
I'll put those links in the description. Read up on that. I suggest doing that. And very cool, a Mars panorama. Recently, from NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars, a new panorama has been released of the Gedes Valleys. It's a landmark, if you want to call it that, showing basically mud flows and divots. The team is trying to discover if the channel was carved by a river, wind, or something else. This debris pile, which I'll show you the picture, may unlock some really good information on Mars. And let's get into a strange story this week. So on Tuesday, a 5,800 pound of metal from the ISS, it's a battery, crashed into a Florida homeowner's house. Talk about a relaxing spring break. It was later confirmed it was indeed from the International Space Station. And not only that, but all the way from China, coming in at slightly less 3,300 pounds, a piece of space debris was seen flaming into a fireball in the atmosphere. That was actually from the Chinese astronaut mission back in 2012, somehow. Some thought it was from the Falcon. And coronal mass ejections are basically huge expulsions of plasma in magnetic fields. Read up more on those if you want to know more. These form auroras which can easily be seen yet they don't always show. Only thing is that CMEs do cause disruptions to power grids by overloading their systems. To put it into simple terms, the Parker Solar Probe recently discovered turbulence inside a CME which shows KHI. Read up on that research I'll put below, but it's a big breakthrough in understanding CEMEs. And moon time? Supposedly the White House is making NASA establish a unified moon time for celestial bodies. This time will be called Coordinated Lunar Time CLT, I believe. They're trying their best to connect as close to Earth time as possible because, I mean, Artemis missions, they might build moon bases. We'll see what happens with that. And with that, we're going to be wrapping up the first episode. I hope everyone enjoyed and learned something. Remember, be bold, be original, be invincible. <laughs>